At first glance, Etomidate looks like a pretty ideal induction agent due to its respiratory and cardiovascular stability, but its side effects have very much restricted its use and we'll talk about those in a little bit. Etomidate is very potent, so you'll only need 0.3 milligrams per kilogram of it to induce anesthesia. It comes in a 10 mil ampule at a concentration of 2 milligrams per mil, and it comes as just the R enantiomer. It's very hydrophobic at physiological pH, so it comes in 35% propylene glycol to improve its solubility. Unfortunately, this often does make it painful on injection. Just like ketamine, it's a weak base, and its solution is pretty alkaline. With a pKa of 4.2, the vast majority of it is unionized. 75% of it is protein bound. You'll probably see various figures for its volume distribution, but it's somewhere between 2.2 and 4.5. It's metabolized very quickly by both hepatic and plasma esterases, the metabolites of which are then excreted by the kidneys. In terms of its pharmacodynamics, it enhances agonist activation of GABA receptors. However, it does lower the seizure threshold, and about 20% of patients show an epileptiform EEG. You may see myoclonic movements. It's a potent cerebral vasoconstrictor, so there is reduced cerebral blood flow, and oxygen demand is also reduced. Respiratory-wise, it's quite stable. After a transient apnea, a reduced tidal volume is offset by increased respiratory rate. And cardiovascularly, it's also very stable but you may see a slight reduction in mean arterial pressure. In terms of GI effects, it does increase the risk of post-operative nausea and vomiting. Now we come on to the real reason etomidate use has fallen so much. It strongly inhibits adrenocortical steroidogenesis. So cortisol and aldosterone synthesis is very much suppressed for 24 to 48 hours after injection. And this has shown to translate into a significant mortality rate in critically unwell patients postoperatively. Also worth noting, it significantly inhibits platelet activity as well, so it does carry a bleeding risk. So that's Etomidate. Some very favourable properties, but its use for unstable patients has largely been replaced by ketamine due to its side effect profile.